What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the newest episode of Putt Stuff. As you can tell, we got a great video coming up from the title. Apologize for taking so long to get this video out. We were moving around, had some stuff come up in my job, but we're back at it and I'm hoping to get more videos out to you guys. If you enjoy this content in the Breaking 100 series, make sure to hit a like and subscribe. Enjoy this video and hopefully we go out there and stuff some putts. Here we are on the first hole. We're gonna have Zach teeing off. Gets a hold of this one. It's going way up and gonna sit over there in those trees off to the right. I'm gonna get up on the tee box here and see if I can give it a rip down the fairway. Got a hold of that one, but it's gonna hit the trees and knock down. Let's take a look at the second shot. Second shot here. I'm just trying to play smart. Absolutely get a hold of this one instead of just hitting the punch out. I'm gonna be stuck under those trees. Let's see if I can get out from here. Got my old trusty two hybrid out. Gonna get a hold of this one, hit it through the trees and across the fairway up onto the hill on the other side. Playing the old zigzag across the fairway. Pretty much how this course was designed to be played in my opinion. Gonna hit this one from 115, get up close to the green. Gonna try and chip on here. The chip's gonna go too far. Gonna roll towards the back of the green. Gonna set up a pretty far putt. Gonna sit down and listen to Zach, see if he can guide me here. Let's see how I do. After Zach caddies me on the putt, I hit a great shot. We're about two feet from the hole, gonna tap in for double bogey. Let's see how Zach finishes out. I think that was double. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Back. It's so uphill there. Yeah. You have to like, you, it's you, also, you don't want to go long there. You're it's also good and like, yeah, just good, good green. Like Moving that. on to our second hole. It's going to be hole 11. Forget to film the chip shot, but I'm pretty much in line with the pin on the right hand side. Chipping over a bunker. Going to put it right on the green. Going to set up a good attempt here for par. Just got to focus in, line it up, and I absolutely sink it. We get a par on hole number two. Moving on to three. We're going to watch Zach approach his ball. He's going to come up, line up his shot. Let's see if he can sink a putt for par as well. Nice putt. Here we are, third hole of the day, number 12, par five, hole. 500 right. yards. Zach gets a good swing on that, went up in the air again. I'm gonna absolutely grip it and rip it this time. Straight down the fairway, but it's gonna actually overshoot the fairway, end up in the weeds. Let's see if I can hit yeah, out hit that from tree. there. It's in the weeds. Where? So from the weeds, I'm gonna take a hack out of here. Don't quite have the correct aim. And we're gonna be sitting on the right side of the fairway, setting up a chip shot from behind those trees. I was afraid. From behind the trees, I'm gonna have an oh absolutely terrible blunder. Just slice it off the toe, down, and we're gonna have another yeah. shot from right over here. At least I'm out from the Good tree, and I actually hit a great shot onto nice, the nice. green. Gonna set up some putting action. I mean, you can't ask. Oh, dude, you're. I think I gotta go. Top I side, think you right? gotta. Oh, you definitely gotta go out top side. Try to strike it. You want, you want the ball to start trickling? Okay. I mean, trickle. You saw what that just did, yeah. right? After getting some advice from my caddy, Zach, I'm going to try and line up this putt. As you can see, the pin placement was pretty terrible. It's going to be right on the side of this hill. Let's see if I can roll it in close. 
Zach and I are going to have two similar putts. Let's see if he can line it up. Just leaves it short from the uphill. Let's see if I can replicate and get close or maybe sink it. Dude, that, oh my god. We're gonna head on to our next hole through the tunnel under the road. We're heading towards the part three. That's okay. It's gonna roll. After Zach's hit, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna hook this one. We're headed over to the left side of the green behind those trees. Let's see if I can get out from there. So here I am behind the tree. It's always good when you got two clubs out. I'm never sure which one to go with. As you can see, there's a V right in between me and the pin. I'm gonna take a few pracky swings here. Let's see how this one plays out. Pretty true. Not a bad putt. Yeah. Probably closer than I could have chipped it. Okay. Good roll. That would have been such a good bogey putt. Good save from all the way over there. I mean, I hit that pretty pure. After just missing a putt i absolutely get a hold of this one this one's gonna go way down almost 300 yards we're gonna go up there and see if we can chip on and get close historically i've been terrible with these shots let's see if i can put it on the green not a bad idea stop i can putt from there the side of the green i'm gonna decide to put this let's see how close we can get here did not wait for Zach to give me the read, so I'm going to be hitting uphill. And I sink it for par. Let's go. Moving on to the next hole. After a big par putt, you're going to come back on the tee box. Got to have a big hit here. And I duff it off the ground. We're going in for the left side fairway. Luckily, Cumberland is very open. Still keeping my ball alive. Bro. Straight piss missile. I have a great key right in the fairway. Here we go, hitting from the other fairway in the rough. Got to get it up and over these trees. Green's right on the back side of those trees there. Let's see if I can get a good shot here. Going up and over, but it's going to hang to the left. There's a tee box to the left side of the green. It looks like we're going to be rolled up right on top. So we're going to be on this tee box, going to hit a chip shot on, hits the green, rolls a little bit out. We're going to be sitting right on the fringe, deciding to putt this one. Don't really get the angle of attack right here, as you can see, just pushed it the whole way. That's going to push us I mean, over to the right side of the hole. Here we are for a bogey putt and miss it, and we're going to end up tapping in for a seven. Get in the hole. not what you want. No. So here we are on hole 16. This is going to be by far my worst hole all day. I'm going to duff our first shot, duff our second shot, just taking strokes up and down this fairway. Just not playing well on this hole. Standing up on my shots, as you can see, basically just a fail compilation. Gonna We're going to get up there, roll off the back of the green, oh, and set up a chip on, and hopefully some putts. As you can see, got pretty good speed here, just missing a few putts. Could really bring the score down, but we're going to get out on our worst hole with a 7. Let's move on to the next hole. Looking at 17 here. Zach's going to tee it up, and he's going to get a 
Here I am with my drive, and I absolutely get a hold of this one. This is by far my best drive to date. Fairway's a little dry, and it is just going to carry all the way out there, over 300 yards, setting up a great shot here. And I chunk it, send it off to the side. Let's see if we can chip on here. I get up and down, and it is going to land on the green. Let's see if I can set up a good putt here. Get in. And I just miss another putt. Probably hit it a little bit too hard. Greens were rolling pretty true. And another miss. <laughs> right there, two missed putts. Still get out of there with a six. Moving on to the next hole. Don't get a hold of this one. Kind of top it down into the valley there. Zach's going to go up and absolutely nice. get a hold of this one. And a little backstory. Hey, the guys behind us were giving us some problems with us having our camera out. Even though there were three people in front of us holding up everything anyways. So, Zach was fired up. I missed my second shot, but oh, baby, here's the third shot. And I get some great draw on here, and it is going to go right near the pin. Oh, Zach's all fired up. That almost hit the pin. After a pin-seeking shot, I'm on the back side of the green. Hit a pretty good shot here. Going to get me close. Yeah, Hopefully we can tap right. in. Here's Zach's birdie putt from off the screen. Can't even see him. Perfectly placed. Sinks the birdie putt. Birdie. Birdie. That's okay. I did that on like this thing. So here we are heading on to oh, our yeah. back nine, technically the front nine, and I'm sitting at a 51. I have no idea the score. Just had Zach keep score for me. I didn't like to know. T shot goes left. Hit a nice out here. We're going to be going across to the other side of the fairway, but we should be able to chip on from there. Up on the side of the bunker, from out of the sand, and I'm going to be on the back side, chipping back on. And we are getting close for a putt. Just barely misread it, and we're going to get out of there on the par 5. I mean, I mean, that's just the whole placement. Yeah. So at this point, we realize we are going to be fighting the sun. Try to get this round in. I absolutely smoke this tee shot, and we're going to be very close to the green. Let's see how we do. It's in line with the green, though, Like, on Still. No, it's a bomb, but it's not, I mean, you hit better one. So now the key is like you have driven me by like 50 yards. Now you got to get it closer to the pin, right? Should be able to hit him. You got this. Confidence. Confidence. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Backspin. Backspin. Bite. There's not much bite. Here we go. After some motivation from Zach. I'm going to have a chance at par, and I leave it way short. Pretty good read. Just did not hit it quite hard enough, as Zach says. Got my caddy out here. Let's see if Zach can put it in for birdie. Get in. Just missed the birdie putt. All right, so where am I going here? Let's tune into Zach to see what the read is. It's actually not as fast down the hill as you might think, but I'd say you got to play it. Yours, you don't have as much slope as I had. But I think you've got at least a cup. A cup? I mean, it depends how hard you hit it, but I think if you give it a nice smooth roll, something like here is what you're looking for. Right? right? Don't, don't, look like your line, look at your feet. Your feet are telling me that like way out here. But I'm thinking like something in here, let it. Boom! Let's go for par. Fucking right, good read. After a great part, I'm going to forget to record my tee shot, but I'm off to the right-hand side. Going to hit it through these trees and up onto the backside of the green. Going to overhit this one. Going to be a little bit of trouble. So we're going to be on top of the green now, coming back down. Let's see if I can 
get pretty close here and try and save par or bogey on this hole. Decent speed, just missed it outside. We're gonna tap in, get out of here with a bogey. So we're gonna jump ahead of the group in front of us, skip this par three and we'll come back to it. We're gonna play a par four, number five. Get a decent drive, I'm gonna be over to the right hand side. We'll see how Zach can do here. Same spot. Yep, not a ton of slice on that, just kind of started right. So my drive was over to the right hand side. I'm gonna have to punch out and I get across behind another tree, gonna chip ball, onto ball, the yes. green. Doesn't matter where it ends Just up. fed it over the bunker. I'm on the back side. Beautiful. Gonna chip in. Beautiful. Get a beautiful chip here. Need to sink this putt. Great and Great I do. Ball. We finally get one to fall. Gonna take Thanks. a bogey on there. Moving on to the next hole. Good ball. Hang on. Here we are on the par three. We are running out of daylight, so we are playing some speed ball here. I'm gonna put this one, get pretty close, and we're gonna tap in for a bogey. Moving on to our next hole. Pipe, hanging, hang on, hang on. I'll be all right. It's gonna roll. Uh, didn't get any height on this. After not a great tee shot, gonna need a good recovery here. Absolutely get a hold of this one with my 8-iron. We're going to be just off the side of the green. Going to chip on, get pretty close, have a chance at par. Let's see if we can sink it. So we're running out of time, so we're going to switch straight to commentary for the last few holes. Let's see if we can get it done and break 100. Well, boys, it's getting dark. Can't even see going into the tunnel. It is dark in here. It is so dark. We're struggling. We're gonna make we're gonna make it to 18, hopefully. And then this is nine right here. We have to no, start in the back one. Nine? Nine, nine. nine is to the right. Oh, nine is to the right. So nine's way to the right. But we have to play that part three. Maybe. Maybe. If we only have Maybe. time for one, I'd rather just play nine. Yes, absolutely. If this is the ranger kicking us out, I'm gonna cry. Pipe to the right. That's all right. You're on the fairway over there. That's where you'd rather be, you know? So that thing was fucking bomb though. You'd rather be there than in the trees. Yeah. You know? I'm in play. All right, we got three holes left. We got a par five here. A par possibly two. A par four. Possibly, possibly two. Jordan's probably playing around in his life at a, at a pretty tough golf course. Got to find his ball over yeah, here. Yeah, we're over to the how, right. How do you feel right now? Probably hitting the ball better than you hit all year. Uh, it's just madness. Absolute madness right now. We're playing so fast. We're running out of daylight, but I think we might be able to get 18 in. It's going to be a press. We gotta find this ball first. I feel like all we've done today is hunt red and yellow striped balls. Un unseeable balls, apparently. And then we have ultimately find it and you make a par. Yeah, that's how it usually goes. So I think it's my ball, you're part of I'm further. I'm probably further right. I hope I'm not in the drink here. I don't think I hit it that far, but maybe. Um, so this channel is called Putt Stuff, but we may need to rename it to Driver Stuff based on the way you hit the ball. Dropping bomb stuff. Call me George Bush because I'm bringing the bombs down today. Oh, baby. Yeah, be the club. Be the right club. Is there sand on the right? There might there be, is but either sand, way. but we're okay. We're not in the water. I gotta say, my favorite thing about coming to Cumberland is Advanced Septic by my boy Cody Richards. Yeah, all right. I'm losing it, but don't hit that bank. It's just on that bank. I heard it. Yep. Oh my god. Oh. Yes! Are you 
shitting me. Let's go. Oh my god. You have a camera on for that? Yes. <laughs> Dude, that's a par. Oh my god. Oh baby, if it's fading right, I think it might be. Like I don't know. Right. Right. It started out and I think it's fading right. It could be like a best three. I crushed that. All right, boys, coming down the final hole here. I don't know what's going on. Pretty sure I'm playing pretty well, but don't want to look at the score. Don't want to jinx anything. Just focus on hitting the ball and not dying down this hill. Oh my God. <laughs> shoot the gap. Oh shoot. <laughs> what a day. Uh, I think we should let the camera see the scorecard so they know what you're doing. We, we, Hold on. Okay, you uh, take the wheel. All right, I'll take the wheel. Camera, take the wheel. That's what we're sitting at. I'm pretty confident. I know what, what's happening. I know the hype. All right, we're, we're here at Zach's ball. I'm gonna take a walk up and look for my ball. You're like, you're on a line left of that evergreen, maybe coming back right, but it probably didn't get to the. How, f how far do you think I am? Like you're pitching wedge? 20, 30 yards from me. But you were you were like over that tree right there All probably. Right. If it faded, it was coming back towards the Everglades. All right, I'm taking a walk. Crowd's going nuts. It's all right. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous. This is the most ridiculous round of golf I've ever played. The sun is going down. It's getting dark. I need the distance. I have an eight iron right now. Huh? I hit two hybrid darts on the sky. What do you got? I have an eight iron right now. I got 150 right here. Eight iron is my 150 plus, so we are set. Just watch where this goes. Yep, I'm with you. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. We need the right club today. She's dancing. She's bouncing. She's on the green. Woo! Let's go. Just put it right on the green. We're coming up. The crowd is going absolutely bananas right now. I can't hear a goddamn thing. What a day. You know, when I woke up this morning, I felt like I was pissing excellence. And that is what is portrayed on the golf course right now. I've seen a lot of pub stuff content with John and Theo and some other folks, but I don't think we've seen anything like this. This is this is a different level. This right was, now. just a, you got a missing piece there now. And I don't see your ball or my ball. I'm on the back of the green. You're on the back of the green. Yep. All right, time to time to chip on here. This is just nuts. I can feel it in the air right now. Somehow, somehow I hit the ball with my eight iron too far. Just, just absolutely crushed it. And it's just, it's just, it's just that day. And we're coming here, final approach. I'm gonna set it down here for the shot. This is just awesome. All right, we're gonna put stuff now. Cut the, cut the dirt there, that's all right, that's all right. We still got a par putt here. That's why it's called putt stuff, not chip stuff. What a chip. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to move that. What do you see there? I'm seeing. I feel like there has to be some push to the left. I'm seeing more to the right. I think I think you're just aiming for the pin here. I I'm not seeing anything left. If anything, it's going right. You good there? All right, come come give me the read. I just I don't know what I could be. Just take a look at it. Yeah. That, that's why I'm a little. Tell me what you think. I think that down at the flag. Oh man, you're right. So up here, there's definitely some left to right. Right. And then it's maybe flat, and maybe... 
I think you gotta I think you gotta account for the left to right the median and then it's probably straight. But you gotta get it a little bit left off the fringe. Maybe not that that much, but it's okay, that's okay. Is it moving right? I'm thinking a little bit to the right. A little bit. I think there's natural slope on this whole thing coming from the right to left. Okay. But I, I'm yeah. aiming right here. Yeah. Alright, it's alright. Because I got some news for you. I just broke the hundred. Woo! Yeah! Let's go! Yes! So there it is, guys. We finally did it. I broke a hundred. End up shooting a 93 on the day. Just had a great time out there. Wanted to apologize for taking so long to make this video. Wanted to make sure we did it justice. Had a lot of stuff come up. Ended up moving, so. Looking forward to putting out more videos. I still have a bunch more rounds from earlier this year that I can still edit and put out. And I'm looking forward to giving you guys more content. Going to try and get a more consistent basis. But this is going to end our Breaking 100 series. We finally did it. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Like I said, we're going to get on a more regular schedule. I'm hoping to put out at least a video a month. Got a bunch more content for you guys. Thanks again for watching. Till next time. Keep stuffing those pots.